Dark hand poise is bad. Well, you know I'm all about poise. I think if I did a new game plus, I'd like to try more of a role-oriented build. It forces you to learn boss movement patterns so much more. Because, like, I have a really strong medium shield that I can still medium roll with, so I can just stand with my shield up and dodge big attacks, and then get major damage in with a plus 15 sword like this. Ulusile Sanctuary. This certainly looks like a kindleable bonfire. Bonfire lit! Are there any black phantoms I need to be human for anywhere in this place? Oh, also... Oh my god, it's a whip. On god, thee! Take that, fiend! <laughs> um, let me just put some stuff in my box, also. I've been holding on to that parrying dagger, thinking, like, maybe one day I'll use this. Probably not. I just, I'm holding on to things that maybe one day I would use, but I don't think I'll use any of this. <laughs> I'll keep the Guardian Tower because it's funny. Okay. Mushroom. Is this an NPC? It's not targetable. Well, look at this one. From what far away age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah, Princess Dusk's savior. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness. But Princess Dusk is here no longer. Snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the savior? The NPCs in this game talk so slow. Thank you. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost, for I am one with the sorcerers of Urasil. Well, I have no intelligence. Ha! <laughs> In real life, too, am I right? Jay Barino, ha. Huh? Thou shalt see further on. An abyss was begat of the ancient beast, and threatens to swallow the whole of Ulysseel. Knight Artorius came to stop this, but such a hero has nary a murmur of dark. Without doubt, he will be swallowed by the abyss, overcome by its utter blackness. Indeed. The abyss may be unstoppable. Still, I have faith that Princess Dusk may be rescued yet. Hey, you got any friends we could eat? May the flames guide thee. So Princess Dusk was captured. My understanding is we're in the past right now, right? Because when we rescued Dusk, she was like, I came, I come from a distant past. And we got pulled through a portal, presumably to Ulisil, which is, like, the, the past. I don't know how far in the past. I don't know where we are relative to, like, location-wise. But, uh... This is what people, uh, people were talking about this a little in the chat yesterday when I was playing. Because we were debating Age of Fire versus Age of Dark. And people were saying, well, Ulisil is getting swallowed by the Abyss because of their... Uh, they were lured by the serpents into trying to start the Age of Dark. So, maybe the Age of Dark isn't such a great thing. My argument, though, is if I get to be the Dark Lord and get to turn into a giant Cthulhu-esque monster, that sounds like a pretty sweet deal. Oh, thank you. Lunch! Alright, we're in a new zone now. I see an enemy. Let us go and engage them in the Royal Wood! Alright, let, let us review. New enemies. They have a scooping attack. They get killed instantly. Very similar, though. Like, I assume their attacks are dangerous, but if you get it in a good attack in, they're gonna go down. 
The interesting thing about Dark Souls is, like, soul level is important, but if you have a plus 15 weapon, it just seems all around good. I think maybe I'm doing a lot of damage, though, because it's scaling with my dex. I also have a shit ton of souls. I need to use these. Hang on. Maybe... Maybe we're, we're right here. Let's just go and, and do this real quick. I'm also rocking probably too much humanity at this point, so expect that to get lost. Oh, a lot of invasions happen in this general area? Okay. Cool, cool. Upgrade Pyromancy. I have, I, as far as I understand, I have completely upgraded Pyromancy. I have a plus five uh, super fire hand, which is, I think is as far as it goes. She wouldn't sell me anything unless there's another NPC. That lady wouldn't sell me any more upgrades. But that reminds me, um, we have something called a fire whip, and I demand that it be used. So let's do that. And then we're going to level up dexterity. We're almost to level 40, and then we can leave it be. I don't think I have any crunchable souls. Maybe one or two. Brave warrior. We also got the soul of a guardian. I'll have to look up what we can build with that. What lunch do I have today? An apple and some chicken. Coco, I know you want some chicken. I know you want some chicken, but this man is scooping, scooping the ground at me. You can't have any of this chicken. You wouldn't, you, you, you'd have diarrhea, Coco. You can't have this. I'll give you some treats later, though. I know, that's a good sit. Coco Nugget, she's Coco Nugget. She's walking around behind my chair and, like, poking her head through my chair to try to get my food. Coco, you're going to get me killed. But that's what they want to see, isn't it? Sorry, I'm just sort of running and thinking maybe enemies will pop out because I'm also trying to eat at the same time. Mmm. <laughs> That's a new enemy. Coco. All right. Very. Uh, this kind of reminds me of the knights that are in. Oh, that are in. Uh, um, what's it called? Dark root. Ouch! Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. Okay. Oh boy, we get smashed. One more. Wait, I didn't even try and see what Fire Whip does. I'm willing to take a bunch of hits just to use it on somebody. I will equip it and we'll see what happens. Was that Coco coming into the room? Coco has been in the room this whole time. This looks like probably a shortcut we activate later. Coco's almost always in here when I'm when I'm recording. She likes to sit by me. Coco doesn't. She likes her space, but she, she likes to be close. She likes to be nearby, but not physically touching you. Like some dogs like to cuddle a little bit. She just kind of sits nearby. She's a shepherd, so she just likes to keep an eye on things. She likes. She feels comfortable when she knows where you are, and she can herd you into into where she wants you to be. Oh, these guys blend in really well to the forest. I guess it's like the other tree enemies from uh, Darkroot. Okay, let's kill this one first. I should try just doing a normal swing and seeing if we could take him out. This guy, these guys do frighten me. Wait, fire whip! Do it! That was a great chaos fireball. I demand a fire whip. Lure the attack, fire whip. Oh my god. That is incredible. 
I, I was pushing the D-pad, trying to take my sword out and put away my pyromancy. It did something unexpected, and we are now dead. Alrighty. We've used Fire Whip. I've eaten part of my lunch, so I'll be less distracted. Yeah, my, so my understanding is there's an actual dragon. Not a drake, but an actual dragon that you can fight in this DLC. So that'll be cool. See, I was making fun of it, but look at that. I have actually gleaned some information. I'm referring to the enemy as it should be. Uh, let's go and get our souls and such. Souls and such. The Jay Barino story. These big knights are frightening. Well, whatever they are. These big stone golem things are pretty frightening. They do a ton of damage. Please. No, don't go by the tree! Dude, Great Chaos is killing it. It's killing it. I'd love it if we get more charges. I think I have a, a ring that allows me to use more charges. But it halves my health or something, so obviously I'm not going to do that. Where was I killed? I thought it was that group right there that killed me. Where are my souls? start saving these a little bit. I gotta learn how to block these attacks anyway. Oh! Alright. Gotta anticipate that a bit more. They track you a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean, like, entirely. There they are. Uh, okay. We went in this building. We got a piece of gear. I guess let's keep exploring. Hello? Okay. They're just gonna... They're just gonna stay there, that's fine. Let's clear this area out. You know how when I enter a new area, I like to just completely wipe it out. That's what's happening here. These guys are like, it's like there's a trap or they're guarding something because they're just sort of standing there. That dude's got a lot of poise. There we go. That's the timing. You gotta just wait just a tiny bit longer than you expect. Man, I've got pretty heavy armor on, and those things still take half my health away. And it's my own fault, because I'm... It's my own fault, because I, I have not put many points into vitality. I'm rolling, like, 20 vitality. Probably should, should level that up. Fire whip! It's the only way! That's a pretty... It's cool, but kind of useless. Well, I don't know. I don't want to say it's useless. Um, it seems like it would be good against... If there are multiple enemies moving at you at the same time. It'd be pretty good. Twinkling Titanite. Mmm. Most of the drakes were created by Seath. That's interesting. I feel like there's a lot of info about Seath that's uh, intriguing. He strikes me like, um... Oh, what's the name? Oh, I got their weapon. Uh, what's the name... Of the Spartan? He was, like, physically disabled. And so he was kind of cast out of their society, and he ends up, uh, being resentful. So he starts helping the, uh... Oh, it's like a spear. So he starts helping the... 
the Persians, that's like Seath. Like he's he's like a he's like a black sheep of his society. So he's bitter about that and helps the enemy. Because, like, he didn't have scales. And he... And that, like, so he couldn't be immortal. So he made his own. Like, that was the whole point of the experiments, is, like, he wanted to make that little crystal that we destroyed in his little cave. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I think the only way to go is through this little area up here. So let's, uh, let's check this zone. I'm here talking about Seat the Scaleless. Instead of actually progressing the game a little bit, I need to make some progress here. What am I doing? Okay, it looks like this is all the same area. Can we... No. I need to uh, get more pyromancy out. Oh, that's interesting. So fire... It says it has 80 charges, but it's like every tiny little piece that it shoots. I see them up here, so I'm going to back up. God, the reach on this sword is so good. I like that I got their little plow halberd thing. Spear. Ow. All right, you got me, buddy. You're lucky. Fire Whip is okay in PvP, if I remember. Huh. Another large knight. That's where we could have come. I think this is the only area of the Royal Wood that we haven't been in yet, is this direction. So I think let's clear this out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Woo! <laughs> it sucks when you're casting something and you can't move while it's happening. And you just see this giant hammer <laughs> bearing down upon you. I think we're going to definitely have to kindle that bonfire, unless there's another one a little bit closer to wherever we're going. The lore is interesting. Might consider trying this game soon. The thing about the lore is you would completely miss it unless you are very, um, unless you're just very interested in reading all of the, the item descriptions in conjunction with the areas you find them. It all weaves together very well. Um, you could just play through the game and completely ignore it, and you just miss out, which is a fine way to approach it, but... Like, when I was farming for stuff, occasionally I would just open my inventory and read stuff, and when you contextualize it with the areas... Excuse me. It's gonna be like the Red Drake where he just blasts us. No, he, he goes away. But yeah, every item has, like, little flavor text. From, like, a narrator, which is neat. Okay, I guess... <laughs> Guess we continue. We saw a giant dragon. I want to say dragon, but I don't know. <laughs> yes, he's just saying hi. Crystal lizard, come back. Oh, shit. I'm going to miss it. No, I'm not. Cool. Oh, God. <laughs> no. What the f- <laughs> I haven't seen that before. Alright, we're in trouble now, boys. Kill him before he does that thing again. Yike, Arunskis. Oh, we got their weapon. This is what we get for rolling with a... Uh... A ton of humanity. Okay, I fell down into this area, and I don't know how to get back, so I guess we're just gonna go this way. This motherfucker's got scissors! I want that weapon. I want that very bad. I wanna- I wanna snip people. With tiny little scissors. Um couple different ways to go here. 
We only have one Esty left. I, I think I may end up homeward boning, but I'm gonna try to do as much as I can first. Like, kill as much of this stuff as possible first before and, like, pick up these items. Because the way I see it is, like, you want to clear out everything and pick up the items, and then you never have to bother with these enemies that are placed here ever again. Okay, enough with pyromancy. It's just costing me free damage from these guys, and I've only got... I don't have any SD left, so... God damn it. Wait, is that where he... It's like if you're close enough, they do that giant thing where they, like, scoop the ground up. Which is, like, right now, maybe? No! <laughs> they even make a noise when they're about to do it. These guys are no joke. I think I'm gonna have to homeward bone soon. Let's just pick up these items. Goes Great Arrow. Maybe I can use that with my Dragon Slayer bow, which I have neglected to use. It is a nice view. We've been picking up pieces of this armor set for a while. I think we've got three of the four, actually. Alright, we want to cross this chasm and get that item over there. Looks like we're going to have to go around. I think we've explored this area up here. More items. I think, yeah, now we've got all the guardian armor. We'll have to see if that's any good. It's just a trap. <laughs> just like a fuck you trap. Um. Yeah, there's just giant chasms in the ground. We gotta be careful here. Hello, sir. Nice job. Alright. Elizabeth's mushroom, finally! Do we have to give that? Maybe we give that to her. Greatly restores HP for a limited duration. It's dramatic if I can make the difference between... I mean... Is it a problem if I just use this? Or should I bring it back to the mushroom lady? Because I... Could use the health, and I don't really want to crunch another humanity. Because I'm expecting to lose this humanity eventually anyway. What I should have done is given it to the, um, the fair lady before I inevitably lose it all. But now we're trapped in the DLC, so that's fine. I think we have enough that- we have enough to crunch. That, um... That we can get to 30 for that plus two covenant status. These enemies are weird. I like them. Whee! See you later. <laughs> Did I see a, an item up here? Or have I been up here? Oh, it's a crystal lizard. I thought I saw something up here. I think it's the crystal lizard. I see it's behind that wall. Alright, crystal lizard. Don't run too close to those enemies, please. Excuse me? Oh, I don't have any Estus. Should I quit and come back? He comes. They come back, though, when you... I assume they just come back when you die, so I'm just gonna leave it be. Let it be. Let it be. Soul of a proud knight! It's just a consumable. Okay. It says temporarily, so I assume, yeah, we'll lose it later. This is a mistake. 
Maybe not. I have to be really judicial right now. Oh, there's two. I think maybe we do use pyromancy then. Please. Yes! That's the wrong way to dodge. Okay, let's take our time here. I think we've used pretty much all of our pyromancy at this point. Ooh! No! Holy shit. Living on the edge. A lesser player would have backtracked by now. The lizard comes back when you hit the game and reload, or you die. Well, we've cleared out all the enemies, so I'm just gonna... Let's do a soft reload real quick. I'm gonna eat my apple. Hopefully we're near it. Aha! Uh -huh. Get back here, swine! Great, blue titanite. Exactly what I wanted. That is sarcasm. Is this... Stone elevator. Is that a bonfire over there? Anytime there's a fog door with a bunch of red or orange soapstone signs, I'm like, well, probably the boss. Let's be careful. Another shortcut. Um, let me just look around real quick. And I want to go back because there were some areas further up that I want to check out. That looks cool. I really is is I hope this is a bonfire. I mean, actually I don't want it to be a bonfire. All the enemies up up the up the elevator are dead. So, in a way, I'll grab that on my way back up. In a way, I don't really want to rest. Who's this edgelord motherfucker? Hmm. Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past? Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land. But at least now there are two of us. Bloodborne Easter egg? He sells humanity. Might as well just get. Yeah. He sells. Does he sell unlimited humanity? That's weird. So this is just like a normal merchant. Did you happen across Knight Artorias, a legendary abyss walker from the old tales? Well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a colorless sort, if you ask me. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't ask you. So. What did that giant mushroom make you do? Not that I care. It's none of my business. <laughs> hmm? Oh, you... <laughs> Alright. So long. Weirdo. A proud knight! Oh, hey. Okay. So this is back at the top part of the Royal Wood. Coolio. Alright, I'm gonna go back just a little bit, pick up what I missed, and then I guess we're gonna attempt the boss. Or maybe I'll go to the bonfire first. I guess it doesn't really matter what order, because the first attempt at the boss is always gonna be a disaster. I would say, like, 
50% of the time, probably? Soul of a brave warrior. Where am I? <laughs> I think I'm at the bottom of that big chasm we saw earlier, but... Oh! What the... Why are there dogs here? Who's just letting their dogs run freely through this this land? Get! They're like weird tree dogs. They got like a weird golden coat. Yeah, 10k. For, for humanity, I'll uh, avoid that in the future. Actually, just let me check, too, how many I actually have. I have 31 individual humanity. I have 55 humanity. That's more than enough to get to level 30 with the uh, Chaos Servants. Who let the dogs out? Wow. Just quit jumping around. I swear to God. Unlimited stamina dogs. Something else to pick up here. Need giant. Need holding with both hands. I'm suspicious of this. Okay. I mean, that just looks like an area where you'd go and get killed by a dragon, doesn't it? Maybe later. <laughs> if it's optional, we'll do it later. Mm. Hopefully there are no enemies left, because I'm just running and eating an apple. I'm pushing the B button with my pinky right now because I'm holding an apple. Whoa, whoa! Well, I deserve that. What? Did I not pick this up? Large soul of a brave warrior. Well, I'm glad I accidentally fell. Thanks, Honey Crisp Apple. What's your favorite kind of apple? I think mine is now Honey Crisp, but they have to be in season. Honey Crisp is delicious. Mmm. Okay, so we're going this way. Sorry if you can hear me crunching. All right. So we killed... There's like a big group of enemies. We came from the left. So let's go this way. Pick up the items. Go back. Use the shortcut. Sit at the bonfire. Because it doesn't appear to be... There doesn't appear to be another one at the fog door. But we have a nice shortcut. And as long as these guys don't kill us... Three scoops? That's some great irrigation work you're doing, buddy. Oh my god, these guys are just trimming the trees. Dude, I need souls. I love souls. Give me the scissors. Give them to me. Ugh, I want them so bad. A gold coin. Apparently those are worthless now because we scared Framped away. T 
tears. There's, everywhere I go, there's just more enemies in this area. Like, I, I'm trying to find... Oh, please be the weapon. Damn it. If I get those scissors, you know I'm using them. How long has this stream been going? Um, About an hour now. Oh, don't fall down there. All right, let's go back. I, I presume that we found most, the, the uh, at least the obvious things. If there's something super secret, y'all come let me know. Hasmati, I saw that you asked me a question yesterday in the stream, and I did not, uh, I didn't get a chance to answer it. You said, has YouTube ever, ever affected your anything in your real life? Schedule-wise, no. I would, uh, I would change my YouTube schedule before it caused any complications otherwise. I don't know if that answers your question or not. How do you earn money on YouTube? You, um... Oh, wait, here, okay. So then we take this back up, and then we're gonna run to the bonfire. Um, you earn money by enabling monetization or ads on your videos. Is this the, this is not the shortcut. I'm, I feel like I'm going crazy. It's the one that's across the bridge. And if advertisers are okay putting advertisements on your videos, then you make pretty much half of half cents, like half of a penny, if that, per view of of an advertisement. So. You go on a site like Social Blade, and it'll give you, like, a, a ridiculous number. But that's on the assumption, like, the upper end of that is on the assumption that everybody is watching 100% of every ad, which is obviously not the case. It's something more like 5% of that, maybe. Alright, so we just have to cut through this forest. The garden shoes are not available for us! No! Oh, that's too bad. I'm just trying to find my way back. I might kindle the bonfire now. Welcome back, Butane. Well, I'd say it's been a pretty successful first area. Ulasil. Does Clown have anything new to say to us? Struggling, are we? No. If there's anything I can do... Never hesitate to ask. My sword is inside of you right now. Thou art from a time far, far ahead. There are many things I wish to ask, but I know that I must not. The perils of our time are overwhelming enough. You're a mushroom trapped in a tree. I don't May think you're going to be affecting history me. very much. Alrighty. Can't quite get to that 30, that 40 decks. I want it so bad. Let's see if we can get it. Goodbye, soul of a proud knight. I should leave one soul of a proud knight in my inventory at all times. Really should do that. Let's see if it get, gets us there. Yeah, it does. Perfect. Okay, we're done with dexterity. I think new points will go into... Endurance, maybe vitality, maybe another attunement slot. You know what? Maybe anything. Anything except res resistance is up for grabs at this point. Alrighty. Um, let's kindle this. <laughs> Shoot her? I mean, eat her? <laughs> You gonna you're gonna tell me that she's a liar like Guinevere and I should kill her? Okay, we're kindled. 10S these baby. Alright, let's go. 
maybe we'll, I mean, eventually we'll either get killed by an invasion on the way or we're gonna get killed by the boss. So I don't think humanity is long for this world. Go fight the best boss in the game. Is that sarcasm or is it legitimately a great boss? Have you noticed something familiar about this area, Jay? My assumption is that this is, um, this is Darkwood. Comfort ahead. But we're, like, far in the past. And, like, these weird tree people that are caring for the trees and the forest eventually become the leaf the leaf enemies that we end up fighting at another time. Or maybe not, that's the stretch, but still. There are tree enemies and it's a forest, so my only the only thing I could imagine is that it's dark root. Maybe one of these buildings is the one that Alvina hangs out in. I don't have the right of Kindle. I haven't gone to the catacombs yet. Because I've neglected making a divine weapon. Because I'm not I haven't decided what what weapon I want to make divine. I have another Balder side sword. I could just make it divine. That would be funny. Just keep them both equipped. Pinwheel was the greatest boss, so it's definitely sarcasm. Um, oh, it's legitimate. Should I... You know what? Given what happened with the... Um, the lion, scorpion, weird boss... I'm just gonna go in like this. I on a second attempt we might do like a grass grass crest halberd. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, this is Artorius. Holy shit! <laughs> All right, let's get a let's get a. I'm gonna get the most out of this first run through possible. I wanna learn his move set. We can block most of it. That seems like a pretty big attack, and we're able to block it. If we're able to block most of this, I think we're in good shape. Oh, okay. Can't pull it. Wow, we were at low. We were at low endurance there. Mm, hit him with a fire whip? I don't know. He's doing something. Ah! What has happened? He's purple now. He's leaving a trail of goop. Oh! Okay, I was gonna go in for an attack there, but he did multiple whips. What the fuck? He, like, throws dirt in our face. Does he flip again? Sometimes he flips twice. Dude, Silver Knight Shield is a godsend. Is he gonna flip again? See, sometimes he flips twice. Then we go for the hit. Then he throws dirt in our face like an asshole. It's a cheeky move. Dude, we're killing it right now. I don't know what this is, but when he does it, I don't want to be close to him, so I'll hit him with a fireball. Whoa! That's two. Oh, he did it three times! You asshole! Drink? Oh, we're... Oh, no. Oh, he, he gave us a freebie there, I think. Oh! Should I heal, or should I just try to go for the kill? Dude, this dude is cr No! <laughs> I don't think we change one thing. I don't think we change a single thing. We go in and we do the same exact thing. We take him out. 